Attack on Titan is an anime that deserves to be watched more than once. Since the series contains complex world-building and insane plot twists, it's important to pay close attention to the show. Luckily, AOT fans are pointing out these small yet clever details you might have missed on your first viewing. Almost all the people who fight the Titans on a regular basis are very short and have a slim build. Keep in mind that the corpse fight the Titans by throwing themselves around the air using ropes. At the end of Season 3, Episode 50, Zeke launches a surprise attack on the Survey Corpse in Shiganshina. He summons an army of Titans around Wall Maria using his voice command powers. Many fans found this to be a plot hole, since neither Zeke nor the Eldians from Marley were discovered by the scouts when riding into Shiganshina. However, there is a brief scene that reveals a small pipe sticking out from the ground. This implies that Zeke and his army were chilling underground while using the pipes for air circulation. Carla lied about her legs while being stuck under the rubble to save Eren and Mikasa. Her legs could be seen afterwards struggling when picked up by the Titan who ate her. As we know, Titans can acquire the powers of another Titan by eating them. So why the Titan that ate Eren didn't gain his power? It's easy. Eren was not eaten, but swallowed whole. During Season 2, the scouts nicknamed the ape-looking Titan Beast Titan, since they have never seen an ape before. Ymir, however, refers to him as a monkey. During the female Titan arc, Armin told Reiner and Jean to cover themselves so the female Titan wouldn't recognize them. However, Reiner took off his hood before attacking the female Titan. You could see the smile from Annie, who was the female Titan. Did you know that the meaning of the Marley Nation was based on a theory related to racism? The Marley Hypothesis is a psychological theory on how racial groups may have different perceptions of the current racism in society due to a difference in their extent of knowledge and awareness of racial history. Levi only sleeps three to four hours a day. From what he said, we know that he suffers from insomnia. Eren's dream from Episode 1 foreshadows Willie Tiber's family showing the scattered toys and guards in Season 4. Eren's eyes were getting emptier every season, depicting the path that he was taking. Now, about Mikasa's scarf. It's a famous accessory in the series. In the Season 2 opening, you see Mikasa putting it on, but in the Season 4, she's taking it off. This could symbolize the end of their journey and Mikasa distancing herself from her past, especially since the scarf is closely linked with Eren. If you look closely, you can briefly spot a young Reiner, Annie, and Bert Holt in Episode 2. The character of the captain of the Population Pacification Brigade, Kenny, was modeled on Trevor. Yes, one of the three main characters of the fifth installment of GTA. The Titans captured by the Scouts were named Sonny and Bean. Nothing strange about it, but Sonny Bean is the name of a legendary Scottish cannibal, who, together with his wife and descendants, killed and ate over a thousand people. In episode 27, Sasha fought with the Titan that might have been Connie's father. In season 3, showed how Mikasa had better aim than Hanji when they attacked the armored Titan's eyes. Jean had the habit of covering his ears when he felt overwhelmed. After Mikasa's mother dies, she is the only female of the Asian clan. Due to the rarity of her genes, there was a bounty on her head. There are many people who would gladly pay a considerable amount of money for her on the black market. Bert Hull's strange sleeping position is actually the equivalent to the Hanged Man tarot card. It presents an old method of torture performed on traitors. Niccolo put a bouquet of 24 white roses on Sasha's grave. It meant eternal love. Older Eren appeared in Episode 1, but none of us ever realized it. Remember the Talking Titan? He was one of Ymir's friends or servants back then. The special OVA episode titled Isle Notebook follows Isle Langnar, a Survey Corps member who records her encounter with a Talking Titan. Rather than immediately going after Ilse, the Talking Titan bows down to her and calls her Lady Ymir. This is a reference to Ymir's past as she belonged to an Eldian cult dedicated to the worship of Ymir Fritz. It would seem that Levi is not much older than Eren, Mikasa, and the rest of their group. However, as we learn from the creator, Levi is in his mid-30s. So sad we didn't get to see the whale or dinosaur titans from Season 2's opening. Some titan shifters were based on real-life MMA fighters. The Beast Titan's small face and developed trapezius from Alistair Overeem, the armored titan's design from Brock Lesnar, and the Eren's attack titan's frame and fighting style from Yu Shinokami. Thanks to the anime, Levi's hairstyle has become incredibly popular around the world. Levi, on the other hand, cuts his own hair. 
The Colossal Titan's hand mark back on anime's airing in 2013 still showed in 2019. Such details showed how much of Giga Chads the animators were. The Titans from Season 1 were in fact Eldian Restorationists turned into monstrosities. The world map showing Marley and Paradis Island looked like a flipped Africa, with Paradis being Madagascar. The city from Attack on Titan is a recreation of a real place, and the creator's inspiration was Nordlingen, located in Germany. Birds were a recurring motif in the series, symbolizing freedom and the desire to break free from the walls and the Titans. 